everyone, it's Caitlin here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing birch box unboxing. And um, if you're new to what I do, I will unbox this current month for September and then I will talk about last month's products. So let's get into this month's box. First of all, it's super cute with the sprinkles and then on the back it's um like hashtag birch box fresh and beauty community and fun fresh magical a lot of cute little um hashtags and such all over it but i think this part is like the really fun part now i really hope nothing is broken but like as soon as i walked in the door which was today um i dropped it so i hope nothing is broken we'll see again as i said before um sorry for the dry used voice but uh I've been talking and singing to children all week and this is what happens on Friday afternoons so on top we have the um paper which they've they're sticking with this current design I like it the back is um some few words now that follows around the corner we're jumping into multitasking mode and celebrating the versatile time-saving products that help us juggle everything on our to-do lists because at the end of the day beauty should make our lives easier and add a dash of fun another thing we're celebrating you oh yeah so they um they've been birchbox has been on for six years so that's pretty fun and interesting and i really do love that they do this ipsy doesn't and this is just so nice to be able to see like a small description and the full name and the price breakdown without having to go online and look it up. Like I really like having it here in the box. So we'll keep this close. And first is a perfume from Escada. This is Agua del Sol et de Toilette. Um, each spritz of this warm, bright scent features mandarin, apricot, nectar, and sandalwood that's reminiscent of a tropical vacation. So water of the sun okay oh it's got the um it's not a spritzer it's a stopper which is my least favorite kind of perfume oh actually that's really nice it is very bright and citrusy and like i feel like the, did they say mango because i feel like i smell mango did they say mango uh they did not but they said mandarin and apricot so yeah it smells it smells like delicious fruit this is something I think I could actually wear. I might have to um, decant it into like a little atomizer because I really don't like dealing with this because as what happened now, I popped it open and I got it all over my fingertips and I kind of want the perfume to be not on my fingertips, if that makes sense. So next, oh, also, this little packaging, if it'll let you see it, is so cute. Like, look at that, it's just so pretty. Next is Mali Volumizing Mascara. Oh, I totally forgot. The Escada Perfume retails um, for $48 to $79. So small size $48, full size $79. And this is a Mali Volumizing Mascara, which is $20. I have so many mascaras and I just got another one in an Ipsy. So we'll see when I get to this. I really don't ever have to buy a mascara ever again, which is kind of nice. Next is... This Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek in Perk, it is $24, so it's a multi-stick. You can use it for your lips and your cheeks. Let's see what it looks like. It looks kind of shimmery, or it looks like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's got like a shimmery middle, and then the rest of it's, I don't want to say matte, but it's not shimmery. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I guess it makes sense if it's supposed to be a blush. So, here it is built up like eight swipes. Um, it feels nice on my hand and it looks very shimmery. I would have to try this out as a blush to see how it'll really blend on the face. Um, but like, next to it is one swipe, which is very wearable. So, you know, you can really build it up if you want to, but one swipe across and it's pretty nice. It does have a bit of a scent to it. I'm not sure what the scent is. It's fruity, kind of like candy. I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. I just actually really quick. I want to see how big. Okay, so this is all the way rolled up. So that's good because this this will take long enough to use. Um, I don't know. I'm using up um, 
a Jouer blush that I got a few months ago, and maybe I'll use up this one. I kind of like to use up the cream products, I feel, before the powder ones, just because, you know, they're cream, and cream goes bad sooner. So let's see what's next. Next is um, Dr. Brandt Pores No More. I've had this before. Um, oh, no, actually, I haven't. This is the cleanser. Ah. Uh. Um, so I've had the primer, which is, okay, it's not my favorite. It's another one of those primers that, like, fills your pores, and I really don't like that. But this is the Pores No More Cleanser for a 36. Um, best-selling face wash that minimizes pores and leaves skin clear, fresh, and velvety smooth. So I'm very interested to try this because my pores have been so clogged lately, and I don't really know what's causing it. So if this could, like, blast through that, that would be nice to have. Um, next, actually last this month is Beautiful Nutrition Lemon Rinse for $10. This rinse treatment goes a step beyond your traditional shampoo with active lemon extracts that get rid of product residue without stripping your hair of moisture. So it's, it's a rinse, but is this instead of my shampoo or is this after my shampoo? It adds shine, seals cuticles, maintains healthy scalp, gentle clarifying treatment. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be, let's see what it says. <clears throat> Directions, after shampooing and conditioning as usual, thoroughly saturate your hair from root to tip with lemon rinse. Allow the treatment to remain for a few seconds before rinsing. Style is desired, use once or twice a week to remain optimal hair health. Per application information, based on one fluid ounce per use. What? I'm going to use one fluid ounce per use? I guess if I am supposed to cover everything, but that, that's half the bottle. This is a two ounce bottle, so I'm supposed to use half of this each time, which, I mean, I guess since this is a liquid, I'm assuming, or like a very light gel, I probably would use up this much, but I only get two uses to try something this cool. I don't know. The full size is only $10. I wonder if this is the full size or if the full size is like four ounces or something. I don't know. I'll have to check that out later, but, um, um, if you're wondering, it's cruelty-free, no parabens, no BPA or phthalates, no synthetic fragrance, no DEA, MEA, DEA, I don't know what that is, no synthetic color, and it's color safe. I do like that it's color safe because <laughs> gotta keep this safe. Um, okay, I've always kind of wanted to try some sort of hair rinse that's not just shampoo and conditioner, so, you know, that's pretty good. Um, so that's this box. Let's look at last month's box. So last month, this was our box. It's really cool retro 90s uh, throwback. Really fun. And the products we got were this Mana Kadar bronzer and highlight. And I'm totally getting rid of this because, um, while it swatches okay... This bronzer, when it shows up on my face, it is so dark and patchy and shimmery and it's just not good. And this highlighter doesn't show up on my cheekbones or my eye or anywhere that I try to use it. So I'm going to um, give this to a friend and see if she can make it work. She's darker than I am. So, hey, hey, be nice to your sister. Sorry. I'm gonna give this to a friend of mine who is darker than I am and she might have a bit more luck with this product. Next, um, a thing that I really liked is this Skin Food Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. I've not been using it as a mask. Um, <clears throat> I actually like just, you can kind of tell I just barely hit pan on one side. It's kind of, it's kind of smooshed itself back. It's, there it is. You can kind of see I just hit pan. It's not very deep. Um, but this has quite a few uses in it, and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, this full the full size of this is only $10, so I might get this in the future. What I've been doing, I've been using this after my Glam Glow, so after it's all dried down, um, then I, like, I wash off what I can just in one pass, and then I go in with this, and like really scrub up like anything that's still stuck to my skin, and afterwards, I feel so clean and like tight and exfoliated, and it's really nice, actually. It smells kind of sweet. It doesn't have much of a scent to it, but it feels super gritty with all that sugar in there. But I liked it a lot, so I'm, it's something that I'm considering purchasing in the future. We'll see. Um, this R&Co Dry Shampoo Paste is something that I've been using pretty regularly. 
Um, you can see that I've kind of worn down the sides. I think, I think I've used maybe half of the sample. I'm not entirely sure. It's really heavy for the size of it. So I don't know. Excuse me. Stop. I don't know if the product goes like all the way down to the bottom or if it like stops here or something. I don't know. We'll have to see when I actually hit the bottom. Um, you don't need a lot for this product, so it's taken me a long time just to use up this. <sighs> it's expensive in full size, and to be honest, I don't think I will purchase this because um, it's not as precise. You have to, like, rub it in, and if you only get the product, like, on your first few fingers, like, wherever those fingers go is where the product is going to go, so you can't just easily spread it around wherever you need it. And I feel like to get everywhere that needs the dry shampoo, I'm having to use more product. And then when I'm done, like my roots feel as stiff as a board sometimes. Like I've used too much product. And I mean, it, la it works really well. When you put the product where it is, like it will suck up all the oil on your scalp. You'll be dry for a long time. Like I went, I used this, and then like I didn't wash my hair for like three days and it was still in there. Like pretty intense so it's a really good product but it's expensive and full size and honestly it takes a bit too much time and effort to get it right when you do get it right it's beautiful and works wonderfully but it's just so much easier to spray in some batiste dry shampoo instead of this next is something i haven't used a lot but i love um is the beauty protector protectant oil it's a beautiful scent i love the scent it's the same as the oh, it just smells so good the uh detangle protect and detangle that they have um i think their shampoo and conditioner smell the same as well i've never tried it though um but this is a really nice hair oil it really moisturizes and it's lightweight it sinks in quickly and i'm really excited to get more use out of this if you follow my uh finish five by fall i'm working on a hair oil that's older so when that's gone this is next on my list um Last thing that we got last month was this, was this Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. And it is a really beautiful mauve shade in here. And when you swatch it, it's a really nice purpley, pinky, deep mauve with a bit of brown. It looks like it would be the perfect retro 90s um, look for me to have on my lips. <sighs> but when it dries, it dries down like two or three shades darker like on your hand or on your lips, it dries so much darker, like it's like all of a sudden straight up brown. And that doesn't really look so good on me to have brown lips, like a dark brown. Does It's just, I mean, look, it, look at the color of the face and the hair. It just doesn't work very well. It's like, I really want this color, like this color is stunning. This is what I want on my face. But then like, it starts, it starts drying and then it's brown and then it like cracks and it's cakey and I don't know. Um, I'm going to be starting a Lippy a Day project very soon. Probably I'll start it by the time this goes up actually. And um, I'll try it and we'll see if I can make it work because I really love to make it work and see if it is what I want. There was a September's box and there was a review for August box. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you enjoyed seeing the birch box. I always love seeing what they do and the different things they include. It can be a really fun time for everybody. I know they've been kind of going through some things right now, but they're pretty dang cool too. So I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.